Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about CRMs. Technically that stands for Customer Relationship Management, but really what it is is a piece of software that's going to help you organize your company's data. And I know from personal experience and then just working with painters that in the beginning it doesn't seem that important or necessary, but I can tell you from experience and if you ask any seasoned painting company that has been able to grow and achieve success, I think they would argue that it is one of the most important things you can possibly do. I'll tell you a story about my company. When I first started, um, I looked up to another company in the area that is still a huge painting company and does really well. And I talked to a buddy who uh, knew the owner and he was telling me a story about how one of the biggest inflection points of their business and one of the things that really made a difference was getting a CRM. And at that time they got a, a CRM called Salesforce. It's actually one that I use and um, it just really changed their business. So luckily because I heard that story, I just had the foresight to, to do it right away from the beginning. And I do think that's one of the biggest reasons why I've been able to do well with painting is uh, just being really organized and having a CRM where I feel like traditionally a lot of companies will wait a while to get a CRM and it holds them back. The reason I think it holds you back there's a lot. One is just not really understanding or, or you know, you hear like, oh, data is worth billions to these like social media companies, but like data really isn't worth that much to a small painting company. And it's hard to really visualize and even explain like how and why is it so valuable. I'll get into that a little bit later, but it really is priceless to the painting company and can help you tremendously. The other problem I see is that there are just so many CRMs out there and a lot of them are like a one size fit all. You know, some do try to niche into like, you know, this is a service based CRM or something like that, but you get it, it's confusing to set up and use and it's not really made for your specific industry. So there's just little things about it that don't make sense and then it ends up just being frustrating and you don't really use it. Or even if it is good and set up, it, it's hard to make a big change. You know, when I first started, it was all paper. We'd carry around a little file box called a dork box, It'd be in our cars and we'd have a file for each person and do our estimates on paper. And making that change, it's not easy and it it everything takes longer. It's a learning curve. I would just tell you from experience, and I think people know, it's it's kind of like knowing, you know, hey, if you work out and eat good, you're gonna be healthier, but doing it is actually kind of difficult. My piece of advice, and just if you take anything away from this video, one is use a CRM. Even if you don't wanna use one, at least put all of your data in a spreadsheet because all CRMs you can export and import data. So if you just have your company's data and later decide to use a CRM, you can import it into that. But back to the point, just use a CRM. I'm telling you, it will make a huge difference and get through that learning curve. I would say give it 45 days, create that habit, actually use it and it will pay off dividends. You just would have to trust me. Like I'm, I'm telling you as genuinely and authentically as possible, I really, really do believe that it will be huge and help you. Now let's talk a little bit more about like why is a CRM so valuable and really what does it do? Like I said, it, it stands for customer relationship management. It does a lot of things, but for me personally, what I think the biggest piece of value it provides is that it helps you measure and quantify so many different things. Things that when you first get it and use it, you'd never even thought you'd wanna measure or quantify, but I can't tell you how many times where I thought, oh man, if I, if I knew that, I could really, oh, and my CRM knows it. And then I go look it up, which is just usually a couple clicks of the mouse, and it's like priceless data that helps me get to that next level or make more money. There's just so many examples, but trying to give you one that shows like it's something you don't really think about, but did like actually happen is, you know, I was wondering like, huh, I wonder if different lead sources provide, you know, different percentages of interior versus exterior. And I looked it up and I saw there was, it's pretty common that a lead source will give you 80, 20, usually 80% interior, 20% exterior or vice versa. And I saw this with some lead sources and you know, I live in a seasonal area, Colorado, so we don't do any exterior painting during the winter. And I was like, well, I'm paying for both of these services. What if I stopped paying for this one that brings mostly exterior leads? And then the money I would spend there, I'll just move it over to this lead source in the winter that gets me mainly interior leads. And then boom, I'm not spending any more money, but I'm actually growing my business and making more money. Little things like that. A lot of times there'll be a story in my head or one of my sales reps head like, 
oh, you know, I just feel like this area, it's a lot harder to sell or something like that. Or I feel like, you know, this lead source is a lot harder to sell. And it's like, well, let's just look it up and see if that's true. Let's see if your sales rate is different in this town, or let's see if your sales rate is different um, based on the lead source. And a lot of times you're wrong. You know, you just get this thought in your head for who knows why, but it's so powerful to see that, that that's not true so that you don't bring that with you into the estimate. And at the flip side, sometimes you do realize like that is true, and but you can make adjustments. Like maybe if you're using some kind of uh, lead generation service like Craftjack or something like that, you could say, hey, I don't wanna buy leads in that zip code, they're just not as valuable to me. So you can kind of start to see how having this data, you, there's just so many different ways where it's useful. And like I said, you'll just have a thought one day, go look it up in your CRM and you'll be able to make a great decision by that. Some of the obvious ones are marketing, right? So you're gonna get a million sales calls, all these people wanna market to you, and they'll promise you, you know, the world, even though most of them aren't that great, but a CRM is gonna allow you to track everything and get your ROI on any kind of marketing. So you can see, hey, if I put $1,000 into this lead source, this marketing, how much revenue do I book from it? And it takes a little bit of time, but then you just look it up in your CRM and you're like, wow, I booked $10,000 for that thousand I spent, so it was a 10% marketing fee. And then it's like, okay, what if I put another thousand in, does it stay at 10%? What if I 10X it? If I put $10,000 into this, am I gonna book 100,000? And you'll see sometimes that is true, and then other times you have diminishing returns. But I just see a lot of painters are just completely blind to where they're, they're putting money into some marketing and they don't even really know, is this a good place to be spending your money? Because a lot of times it's not, and it's like, just don't throw your money down the drain anymore. Stop spending money there and move it to a place that can give you a positive ROI. All right, and at the very least, a while back, I made a video called How to Hit Your Painting Goals. I'll link it right here if you're interested in there. And I tried to break it down as simple as possible. You really need to know four numbers about your painting business in order to hit your goal or at least make a plan to hit your goal. The goal being how much money do you wanna make? Three of those numbers are gonna come from your CRM. And those numbers are constantly changing so you need something to track it over time to see is it changing, is it moving in a good or bad direction. And that's some of the more obvious numbers that you wanna know that your CRM can bring you, which would be you know, your lead conversion rate. If you get 100 leads, how many of those turn into estimates? So it'd be expressed in a percentage. Your sales rate, how many estimates turn into jobs? And then your average job size. But CRMs, you know, they're gonna show you the macro data as your business as a whole, but you can break that down into a million different ways based on lead source, if you have sales reps, you know, different sales reps, interior versus exterior, commercial versus residential, different towns. I mean, you can analyze that data however you see fit. So again, I really do believe it's the difference maker to get you to that next level. I don't think there's any large successful painting business out there that doesn't use a CRM at this point in time. So the point is, if you don't have one, get one and use it. Now I'm gonna do my shameless plug. I made a CRM and of course I think mine's you know the best, but the reason that I think mine's good is because it's, it's made by a painter and for painters. And really this is over a decade of me just learning what's important parameters to track. You know, a good CRM like the one I use Salesforce, which I got grandfathered in back in 2010 on pricing, where now I think it is pretty darn expensive. I'd still recommend it, but it's, really expensive, but it allows you to track anything you want. It's pretty difficult to set up and customize, but the point I'm making is I've learned like, these are the parameters that I wanna track because they're helpful for my business. And each year I usually add something new on that I just didn't realize in the past I'd want to track. But I used all that information I had when I made a CRM and I wanted to make it as simple as possible so that you'll actually use it. And what it's gonna do is help you track your data and analyze it in any way you see fit. So let me just run over some like basic things that it does. You're gonna enter any lead that you get. And then based on what you enter, it will know if this lead turned into an estimate or turned into a job. And you're gonna track important parameters on that. So you're gonna to wanna to know what is your lead conversion rate. And then you're gonna to wanna to know all the reasons why you don't convert leads. For instance, maybe it's because it was outside of your service area. Maybe they called and wanted a service that you don't offer. Maybe they called and wanted something small and you have a minimum job size. Maybe they called and there was a scheduling conflict or book out a month and they need this in the next two weeks. So when you're looking at your lead conversion, if you wanna increase that, you can analyze, well, why am I not converting the leads? You know, sometimes it's just as simple as you're just not calling enough. You know, you've got all these leads that you just never got a hold of. You know, maybe you can hire someone to do that or just block out an hour a day and make calls. And the CRM will put a list of all of your leads that you need to call. So you don't have to 
fiddle around, wasting time, organizing, figuring out like who do you need to call, it's just boom right there, and you can just press call, 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 right from your phone on the CRM, just make those calls, convert those leads. For me personally, all I did was exterior painting for the first like three years of my company. And when I looked at my CRM and saw that we're not converting a lot of leads, but it's because it was a service that we don't offer. It was all those interior leads. And I just realized like, wow, that is my biggest opportunity. If I just start doing interior, you know, I'm going to get all this free business. I'm not going to have to pay any more for these leads. I just get them normally. And as time goes on, you might realize, hmm, maybe I should add on uh, something else like cabinets or something related to painting, or maybe it's a scheduling conflict and you've been afraid to hire, but you realize, well, crap, look at all these leads that we get. And I just don't do them because they need it in a month and I'm always booked out two months. I'm afraid to hire, but this is giving me a lot of confidence that go ahead and take that plunge, get, add another crew, and instantly you're gonna have more estimates to do. Another thing is tracking your lead source. You know, you'll be able to see all the different lead sources I have, and that's basically gonna show you all the different ways that you can market. But even tracking things further, like if you're gonna run door-to-door -door marketers, you know, it's helpful to track which marketer got which one, this will allow you to do that. Maybe you wanna do something like give a reward, maybe a gift card for clients that refer you. You know, your CRM will allow you to track that to where you can see, oh, all my customer referrals, who actually referred them, where did that come from? And then the other great thing is once this lead turns into an estimate, you're gonna put down what happened at the estimate. Did you book it or did you not book it? You're gonna get a yes, no, or a maybe, but a really great way to learn about your business and how to improve it is understand what are all those maybes and no's. You know, was it think about it? Was it other estimates? Was it price? Was it that they wanna to talk to their husband or wife? And you can start to learn, okay, I get a lot of wanna to talk to my husband or wife. What if I just on the phone call just ask, you know, hey, is there any way I could do the estimate where everybody that is a decision maker is there? What if I just asked, you know, does anybody else own the home with you? Is there any way I could set up an estimate where both of you guys could be there just to make sure we set clear expectations about the process and that everything goes smooth? However you wanna word it, that little difference there could drastically increase your booking rate. You don't have to do any more estimates, you just get more sales. Maybe you realize, hey, I get other estimates a lot and that's a whole other topic I can go on for days about is, you know, how do you get less other estimates? There's a bunch of things you can do, customize your estimates, separate yourself from other contractors. But again, that's a whole nother video, but you can look at what's going on. If it's price, you know, build some value. I know we've had like crazy inflation lately and, and painters are afraid to raise their price. They think their booking rate's gonna go down. CRM will tell you that, you know, raise your price. See, hey, did your booking rate go down? Oh, it stayed the same. Did, did the objection of price go up? Oh, it stayed the same, wow, that's so powerful to know, hey, I, I can raise my price and it, it didn't affect my sales. If anything, it just made everything go up, bigger job size, more revenue, or maybe it did and you can kind of help analyze and see what's going on in your business. But back to that, once it turns into an estimate, you're gonna say it was a yes, no, or maybe. And that maybe pile, you need to follow up with them. So it'll make a list and show you, here's everybody you need to follow up with. And it's an active list to where you'll put in when you should follow up with them. And if you say a month from now, they won't be on the list until a month has passed. And I promise you, just by following up with your estimates, you'll book more work. And this makes it super easy to do. Just stay on top of that list, give it maybe five minutes a day. And right there, you can just drastically increase your business. Because I know what it's like when you're doing it on paper. It's like, it takes forever just to figure out, like, who am I gonna call and keep it all organized? If you can create this habit, technology makes this so much better and useful, you know? We've moved everything to technology. You know, we use free Google products like the Drive and the Calendar. We use a CRM. We do everything on the tablet and it's just been a game changer. Like I said, it's, it's not easy at first, but it did, at least for me, like revolutionize our systems and make everything cleaner and easier. It's so nice when you get a call and you're like at the grocery store and it's like, oh, hold on, what's your name? Type it in. You can pull up all the information on that person Remember your past contacts, what happened. Oh yeah, you were deciding between these two options, um, whatever the case may be, versus you know back in the past, like, hey, let me, let me give you a call back when I'm at the office, and then you never get a hold of them again and you lose a sale. So to recap, even if it ain't mine, I don't care, get a CRM, but don't just get it, actually use it. And I'm telling you, give it 45 days, use it, give it a full year, and you'll be so happy that you did. And after you did, actually use it to help you make business decisions. What marketing should you use? What are the areas, what are your weaknesses, strengths, opportunities, threats? Like where can you improve your business? When you look at that data, you can figure it out. You know, I'm gonna continue to make videos. I'll show you, you're not converting enough leads and these are the reasons. Here's the little things you can tinker and change to hopefully get a better outcome. Same thing with your sales. And at the very least, I get it. You know, hey, money's tight. I 
just don't think it's worth it, I'm not big enough to do it, whatever the case may be, at least at the very, very least, put it in a spreadsheet. Because that way, when you're ready to take that plunge, any CRM, you can import that data. And the more data you keep, you know, like just make a spreadsheet, name, phone number, address, anything else, notes, you know, you can go as far as little as you want. But it's so helpful to know like, oh, it's March. I wonder, am I gonna have a good March? What was last March like? How many leads did you get? What's your goals? What are you trying to beat? It can just be super helpful and it's really hard to understand why until you see it later on and you wish that you had it and then you don't because you weren't tracking stuff. And if you're more curious about the CRM I made, as far as I know, it's the only CRM that's made by an actual painter for actual painters. You can check it out in the links down in the description or on my website, prosperitypaintingconsultants.com. Um, but I'll link some other videos that shows exactly how it works and how it can be helpful. And check out that video, you know, how to hit your goals. You need to know your company's numbers. I have tools that are cheap, easy to use, that you can get those numbers, you know, lead conversion, average job size, sales rate, and your net profit margin. You should just always know those numbers. Maybe you don't have to have them memorized, but you need to just be able to open up a file or something on your computer and just be able to look it up at any time in real time. And what's great is before when we didn't have technology, that was impossible, but now it's possible. And, and that really, in my opinion, is the difference to get you to that next level.